So we designed some shoes. Tell me which one you like the best, and then how much you would pay for it. How much would you pay for that? 180. I'll probably pay 160 for this. 80, 110, 130, 100, 120. But I didn't show you the best one that we created right. today. Boom! I said 200. Okay. They're fresh. Cock a doodle do. Yo, everybody, before we get into the video, I want to let you guys know, since it's summer, I figured we should do some summer cleaning and out with the old and in with the new. So I'm selling some of my gear and kits that you can get on the low. And because it was so easy last year, I'm putting a lot of my heat on the Poshmark app. Here's a few of them. Not only can you find deals on this app, but it's also hella easy to sell things as well if you want to do some closet cleaning yourself. And you guys know me, I'm always looking for deals, so add me on Poshmark, click the link in the description to download Poshmark and start your very own closet. With that being said, let's get into the video. What's up everybody, we are back with another video with the NBA draft approaching. With Zion Williamson touted as the number one pick, I thought it'd be dope to design a shoe fitting of one of the most hyped and talked about players of all time. Cause one, he will definitely get his own signature your shoe, especially with the whole busting his foot through a shoe fiasco. Nike actually had to make a special Kyrie for just for Zion Williamson. So you know whatever his next shoe is, it's going to be thoroughly tested and thought over. I actually did a video where I tried to break the same shoe as Zion. Check that video out if you haven't already. And you already know companies are lining up to sign Zion to a huge sneaker contract. Actually, Master P and Lil Romeo already offered him 20 million to sign with their sneaker company. And Zion definitely said the company that signs them, whether it be Nike, Adidas, Under Armour, Puma, New Balance, they have to make the best shoe possible because they don't want their new star athlete to break through their shoe. That's just not a good look. So with me today to help me with this video is my friend Alex. If you don't know, he's a dope artist. You might have seen him in prior videos. What's up, y'all? But he's going to design the shoe with me today. I'll let him design the Nike shoe and I'll design the Adidas shoe because most likely he's going to sign with either of those two companies because he played with a Nike team in college and he wore Adidas in high school and if I'm wrong the, the, this is awkward Keep in mind the text and specs of each company and we have to make a shoe suited for Zion and his body type because he's a big guy. He's a big boy, bro. No pause. Now, Alex, we not only need to make a dope looking shoe, but we have to make a durable shoe for not only him, but the consumer because that will be tragic if not only Zion breaks his foot in the shoe, but a customer does too. Tragic. So Alex might incorporate Nike's battle in it as seen in LeBron 16s, maybe add some Max Air, Zoom, and for for Adidas, I might add in boost. 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 So with all that being said, we got our papers, these colored pencils. Let's get to work. Yo, what the f what is that? It's the show! It's the Adidas, so you got the three stripes, the red, yellow, the right. blue on the Pelican, but also their alternate jerseys. We got the purple, the green, and then of course the boost bottom. And Zion's a big dude, this is a hefty looking shoe. Why does it look like if I put it on, my feet will shatter? Is that cardboard or boost? I don't, I don't know what's going on there. There's no curves. Zion is a thick boy. You gotta have a thick soul for a thick boy. I don't... I'm just joking, you guys. That wasn't really mine. This is really my creation right here. That's the logo I would like to use. Of course, you got the boost. The structure is inspired by the Damian Lillard shoe. You got the three stripes. It's actually 3M. And, of course, the lacing system is the Yeezy lacing system. Word. The upper is all prime knit. It's a very mixed medium shoe. There's a lot of different materials, a lot of different colors. Yeah, but I think Zion would like this shoe. It's very sleek and at the same time durable. You feel yeah, me? You know. Yeah, let's go into your uh, shoe, Alex. Yeah, so it's modeled after the, the PG 2.5, the ones that he busted out of. Why would you create something that he's going to get PTSD from? Well, I made my own updates, so hopefully he won't flash back to that. Flashback to reality. Oh, there goes rabbit. Okay. Oh, you know, 
Back, I had the air bubble in there, inspired by the Air Max. Yeah, the two and, uh, the big booties. The strap, still inspired by the, the PG 2.5. Get the strap. <laughs> Did you add something to the midsole so it's leather more durable? So right, so this, this yellow strip is a leather strip. That's to add for, you know, more stability and durability. The upper is uh, mostly made out of leather. Sole, uh, same material that the PG 2.5s are made out of. I see you went above and beyond and you made multiple drawings, which I wasn't, you know, told that you was gonna do. So now I look like I, mean, I, I didn't try as much as you did. I mean, my man, you spent like four hours on one shoe. I, I did all of these in half an hour. I don't... Next shoe! Next shoe is based around the design for the Kyrie Force. The Nike swoosh is inspired by the Air Jordan 1. Why? Because it wraps around? Because it wraps around. More rounded sole. I'm gonna pop up the logo he designed for I the made shoe. this too. Yeah, so this is him. You can I see the Z, the W, and, and you can see in the Z, the number 1 is let, in it. Let, let the people one. see. Uh, my fault, my fault, my fault. Next shoe. These are inspired by the Nike Adapts. Oh, self-lacing, self-lacing. Self-lacing. You gonna well. give the rookie the self-lacing shoe? Yes, I'm a, Zion is the greatest of all time. Better than LeBron? Man! Hot take. Soul that's very inspired by the, the Air Max. It looks very futuristic. It kind of looks like a spaceship. It kind of looks like Frieza's spaceship from Dragon Ball. It has this little detail right here to make sure he doesn't bust out of the side of his shoe. What's the upper made out of? Battle knit. Really similar to LeBron. We got that leather detail right there to keep from busting out the side of his shoe. Mm -hmm. Gotta make that a detail mm -hmm. every time. The, the air bubbles are kind of integrated into the electronics lacing system. And it's separated for more what? Flexibility? Separated for more flexibility, mm -hmm. right? And then the easy inspired backing. You gotta be careful, man. Man, easy might sue you. I don't have money. Please don't. See, yo, it kind of looks like uh, the Ken Griffey shoes. Yeah, I was one of the pair of Griffey's, man. Nobody I cares, really... man. Nobody cares. I care. Next shoe, it's the last shoe. My favorite design. I think your favorite design yeah, too. Mine too, mine too. Yeah. Boom! Very much inspired by the Air Max 98. Uh, we got the Air Max 98 inspired the sole right here. The upper is made of mesh and also leather. So we got leather paneling coming up. Coming up here is all mesh. You got a little leather detail right there for the eyelets. Again, Yeezy inspired tab system. Man, you gotta chill out with the Yeezy stuff. Hey, man. you gotta I'm take what I want. Ooh. Cancel this channel, Kanye. Oh no, 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 yeah, no, no, yeah. no. All right, yo, so actually this is my favorite too. It's very 90s inspired. Like Charles Barkley, like Larry Johnson, they kind of big. Yeah, it definitely has the same stature. As no, the because this players. reminds me of like a boot. This feet gonna stay. All right, guys, in the comments below, vote for your favorite sneaker. One of his whack ass shoes. Is it the Captain America with the little period speckles on the bottom? Wow, shoe? wow. Pac-Man PG 2.5s, which he already busted his that. foot through. And They're updated. Adapt BB's, the Joker shoe. Rest in peace, Heath Ledger. My personal favorite. Air Max 98 Zion Williamson basketball shoe. Vote in the comments below. Is it my sexy Adidas Damian Lillard bowling shoes? Or my greatest creation, this one right here. I don't know what I don't know what that is. It's what Zion's gonna wear, is what it is if he signs with Adidas. Adidas just signed me up because I just, I just designed the greatest shoe of all time. So like if you want me to design Zion's shoe, I got you, man. No. We're not gonna stop at that. We're gonna take it to the streets and we're gonna ask people to see if they like his designs or my designs and if they would buy it if they were to actually come out. Let's go. So you know Zion Williamson. Yeah. You've seen him bust through his shoe. So me and my friend Alex, we designed some shoes for him. You know, because he's entering the draft. He's gonna sign with a big shoe company and make sure his foot don't break. So we designed some shoes, tell me which one you like the best and then how much you would pay for it. Those are Nike, this is Adidas. Got the boost, fly knit material, easy lacing. I don't like Adidas. Oh, 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 oh. oh. straight up. Oh. This my man rocking the Nike right now. Yeah. Come on now. That's that Nike gang. You're wearing Adidas right now. He went Adidas with Nike socks. Oh. <laughs> I kinda, I kinda mess with Nike. Right, I'm gonna go for the Nike. So. Uh, everyone likes the Nike, man. I yeah. can't blame them, man. I'd buy those. Yeah. I'd wear these. How much would you spend on these? 60. Bro, those don't look like basketball shoes at all. These look like some whack Converse, bro. <laughs> I'd say like 60 bucks. Just got Boost. I'm wearing Boost right now. They're super unstable. The Kyrie inspired shoes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some Kyries, huh? They look like Kyrie. Oh, they do. Uh, yes, I would buy those for my son. I feel like Zion would tear through those. What kind of material right here? Suede upper. Right here? That seems secure. This is the location where he busted out. That's like a TPU that. material. That heel cup too. How much would you spend on those? No more than 80. No more than 80. Okay. I'd yeah, say like 130 100. around the same price as Kyrie's. They're inspired by Air Maxes and all. The Nike Adapt, yes. which uh, auto lace and it's got the back like a Yeezy. I would purchase those, yes. Oh, this looks so retro. Dap BBs, it's, it's the auto lacing. Bro, auto lacing makes the shoes so much heavier. How much would you spend on those? 120. I'd say like 90 bucks. So if you had to choose one, which one would you go with? Ah! Oh. Got the Air Max uh, 98 inspiration. 
Word. You know what that looks like. I would buy that. She's uh, not uh, very hard to please. To play basketball in that? Whoa, what'd hey, you mean? Hey, hey, hey. You're talking about Zion. He's 6'8", 280. I'd say like uh, 70 bucks. You pay uh, 70 uh, bucks. Okay. What do you look for in a basketball shoe? Dude, I don't like I don't like the air pockets. Yeah. It's so wobbly. Bro, he's gonna pop it. You're not gonna pop it. They're fresh though, they're yeah, fresh. They're fresh. Actually, I'm going for this one. How much would you pay for that? 180? Yeah. I guess I'd pay 150. 150. I'll probably pay 160 for this. 80, 110. All right, Alex, you got yourself a shoe. Nike, reach out to him. Paul George. PG 2.5 inch. All right. With right? a big air bubble in the back. Big air like bubble. Two, yeah, the yeah, Air yeah. Max 270 air right. bubble. I bet with that. Yeah. I think this one. This you, is pretty cool. I like the strap. You like yeah. the strap? It reminds me like the Paul George. The okay, favorite. this is my favorite. Your favorite That's one? your favorite. Yeah, look at KDs. It's kind KDs. of got the forefoot of like a KD, but it's like a PG as well. So and it's got the Air Max 270 bubble in the back. Right. How much favorite. would you pay for this? I would pay I would pay 100, 120. 110? 110? Which one was your favorite? He likes the PG. Because this shoe is designed by you guys. Yeah. Huh? Actually, I don't really like it. <laughs> I don't really like them. <laughs> I just I didn't I, show you the, my favorite I, one though. Okay, which one? But I didn't show you the best one that we created right, today. Okay. All right. I wanted to save this best for last. Right. Boom, boom. What are those? That's so whack. Who has a foot that big? Zion Williamson. I would spend like what? What did that's, you say? Uh, like three hundred for that? You okay, that's pretty ugly, huh? What? <laughs> what? Wait, what did you say? How much would you pay for that? I would not like pay for that, bro. Why, why are you laughing? <laughs> this looks like the flattest foot ever. I pass on this one. Fattest foot possible. Um, would, you, would you buy them? Now. Okay, we're done here. Actually, Adidas? I'd say 200 then. 200? 200? Yeah. I respect like that. that. I respect All right. that. Why curve like that? It's it futuristic! Doesn't look like a shoe. That's because it's futuristic. See, oh. you don't see the vision. <laughs> you don't see the vision. See, Kanye went through the same struggle as a as a designer. Oh, Kanye was to draw. All I'm saying is if Kanye put his name on this, they would sell out immediately. <laughs> What's up guys? That concludes the video. Thank you guys again for watching. Remember to let me know which sneaker design you like the best, which one you think Zion would wear. I think it's uh, either one of these two, especially this one right here. Man, those people were hating. Adidas, hit me up. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, watch my other videos in the playlist up there and down there. Anyways, remember to click the link in the description below to download Poshmark and start your own closet. Until next time, we out. Peace.